All right, guys, welcome back. Um, we've done a lot. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to keep you up to date on a lot of things. Um, I did my lower and upper rear control arms in the back. You can see I also did a little the uh, strut tower bar, whatever you want to call it, um, up in the back. Naturally, uh, the seats are gone. Uh, the rear carpet, spare tire, um, all that good stuff. Even the panelings. And uh, look at that, I even redid the uh, headliner there. So what uh, we're doing right now, the process is basically gutting it down. Um, I know a lot of these uh, track guys and, and strip guys are going to say, don't freaking dynamat it, but that's going to be our next project, is uh, dynamat the whole inside. I am going to keep the rear seats out. I'm going to do a rear seat delete uh, thing. I'm also going to replace this carpet. Whoa, look at that carpet. That's what happens when you spill drinks underneath your seat and you can't get to them. Um, and then I'll be replacing obviously this carpet with a black one. So you can see there's two little wing nuts here in the front. There's two nuts here in the front um, that come up, the screws come up this way. And then there's bolts that go down through the floor. And that's, these are the two bolts actually when I'm doing uh, the subframe connectors, the two rear seat bolts are going to be your subframe connector uh, nut, nut uh, connection point. So the reason I put these back in is because after I take this carpet out, I'm going to get my subframe connectors welded in by a, you know, a professional, professional shop. So um, this is basically where we're at. You can see I did the little uh, the rear delete, armrest delete there. Um, that's probably what the original gray color used to look like. Um, without it being faded, so um, I did a little custom uh, boot right there, with some red stitching. I'm going to be fixing that ashtray cover, and uh, my goal is to pretty much turn a lot of this black. I'm going to do the the door panels black and all that stuff. Um, but I just wanted to keep you guys up to date on on what's happening on the channel, and uh, if you guys have any questions about this interior, I mean, you could see it's really like it gets in depth pretty much back there. But, I mean, just like anything else, it's nuts and bolts, just unscrew it and see what the hell happens, so. Um, the only issue I'm having is with these uh, rear seat brackets. There's there's some bolts down there. Uh, you can see I've been bashing and, you know, trying to heat them up. I've broken a bit over there. Uh, that one in the back there. Uh, they're, they're just not coming out. And these are the same bolts right there that end up holding your seat belt harnesses in. It's like a little uh, star head bolt, and man, they are a pain in the butt. So, um, once we get this carpet out, my buddy uh, Tim Manning, you could check him out um, on the web. Uh, you can look up his company, uh, give him a shout out, because he's been doing a lot of car work. Um, he also does home theater system stuff like that, so check out Tim Manning. He's in the Bernardsville, Basking Ridge uh, area. Uh, he's going to be giving me a hand on this whole interior project. And uh, so pretty much after the dynamat, we're going to be putting in a new carpet, eventually new seats. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, just regular spray painting on the panels. And then I'll be replacing these door panels and things like that. Um, so she's coming along, man. Uh, stay tuned for the channel, see what's next. I'll keep you guys up to date on the subframe connectors and the interior. Alright, take care.